On October 30, 1941, the 495th IAP PVO was recalled from the front lines. We actually had received some MiGs the day before, and my aircraft was painted up nicely by the ground crew. As a result of this reshuffling, I and many of the ground crew were transferred to the 34th IAP PVO, who only flew MiG-3 fighters. My new airfield was only 9 kilometers from where I was previously stationed. This new airfield was much nicer than the previous one. It had concrete runways and proper barracks for starters. Many others and I got situated in our new home. On October 31st, we received a scramble order. Fascist bombers were heading our way. We made for our mates. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to episode number 12 of our Battle of Moscow career in IL-2. And this isn't an I-16. Oh, no, it's not. This is a MiG-3 that we are flying in, and we are number two, so we're going to begin rolling down this nice paved runway. That's because we're also at a new <laughs> airfield and a part of a new squadron. Lots of changes happening uh, for us here. But let's focus on taking off first so I don't botch up my first takeoff in the MiG-3. Get a little trim going. And there we go. Airborne gear up. Landing gear mechanism is hydraulic as opposed to hand cranked like the I-16. So already an improvement, <laughs> I suppose. So let's uh, lower mixture just a little bit and stick with flight lead. Our mission for today is to intercept uh, enemy bombers that are heading towards Moscow. We're going to be doing a lot of that in the near future as the Germans continue their advance. Uh, we have been transferred from the 495th Air Defense Fighter Air Regiment, boy is that a mouthful, to the 31st, 34th, excuse me. Um, which is just stationed around nine kilometers north of our previous airfield. As a matter of fact, let's auto level and I can show you. So for reference, this is where we were stationed previously, this little dirt patch, and we have moved up to a much more sophisticated airfield here uh, near Anio. And flight lead has turned, so we will stick with him. And look at all those MiGs. We actually received MiGs in the 495th uh, a day ago, but the squadron was quickly withdrawn from frontline service. So uh, we could have ended our career there, but I decided to just go ahead and transfer to a brand new squadron. And let's go ahead and I guess turn off our navigation lights and discuss the MiG-3 a little bit. Right now, our armament consists of two 7.62 machine guns and one 12.7 UB machine gun. We also have two 12.7 BK gun pods mounted underneath the wings. If we look at one of our comrades here, you should be able to kind of see them. See them there. Start boosting. These guys are really booking it. The gun pods that I'm currently equipped with were not very popular with pilots. Um, most, most of the time they were removed at the front lines because the pilots didn't like them. They create a lot of drag and make the aircraft kind of heavy. However, since we are intercepting bombers, I think they all, they may prove useful. Also, I didn't have much of a choice in the matter. They were uh, equipped by default. Okay, let's book it up there. My, my friends are moving a little faster than me. Probably because my radiator is wide open. Let's close that to around 35%. We'll open up our oil radiator to 20. That should be sufficient. But the MiG-3 is actually a pretty good aircraft. At high altitude, it performs really well. That's really what it was designed to be, though. A high altitude fighter. But the nature of the air war on the Eastern Front was... Uh, a lot of combat took place down low and at medium altitude, so a lot of the MiG-3's advantages were not used to their fullest potential due to that. 
But at high altitude, it would outperform, you know, BF 109 Fs and uh, whatnot, which we will be mostly going up against. At low altitudes, I think it's on par to slightly worse than the 109. Still an upgrade from the I-16. The only thing that really seems like a downgrade is armament. The I-16, we were equipped with those two 20 millimeter cannons. That is a modification for the MiG-3, but we are not flying with those currently. Okay, let's throttle down. But uh, in every other department, it uh, outperforms. It's fast, it's really good in a climb and in a dive. And it should be a fun aircraft to get to know. Sorry, sir. I'm sure he's really happy with me doing that. Well, we'll try to form up here and get into formation. I'm very excited to fly around with the MiG-3, and this will. This is why I'm excited for the series as a whole. It'll allow us to fly a wide variety of Russian aircraft in one series. Uh, assuming we live, of course. But I think our chances of survival in a MiG-3 are much higher than in an I-16. I think I see actually aircraft at 12 o'clock. And maybe our formation of enemy bombers already. Yeah, those look like bombers. Yep, bombers, 12 o'clock, 9 kilometers out. I'm climbing up. I'm not sticking around down here. I mean, this is definitely a boom and zoomer through and through. We don't want to be turn fighting like we were in the E Shack. And we want to stop boosting. We only have 10 minutes of boost. We don't want to use that right now. Looking for enemy fighter. Oh, yep. Lots of fighters. Well, those aren't the targets. Okay, now we'll start boosting. <laughs> open our canopy and get a better view. Yep, HE-111s. All right, let's go in. We'll go for that tail. Go for this one, I guess. I think I missed, but I don't want to stick around and find out. Fuel tank's already hit. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Good thing we're very close to our airfield. We're not, we don't need all that fuel. I'll make us lighter anyway. <laughs> okay, I don't think I got any very any good hits on that Heinkel. I'll come back down. Engine's overheating. Let's open up our radiator. Again. Okay, we'll go for this one. One Heinkel's on fire. And that one's been hit pretty good. Nose over. see how the aircraft is in a dive very fast unfortunately it does have a habit of all of the control surfaces locking up because it can go so quickly pop that one's fuel tank Okay, we've, oh jeez, that's a 109. Yeah, 109 on my six o'clock, not a fan of that. Let's get out of here. Oh boy.
Oh, shh. It's getting pretty close. Kind of worried about blacking out. Which we are pretty close to doing. There he is. I have him in my sights. I may have just reversed this. I think I did. I think the 109, 109 may have blacked himself out. Let's get him. Let's get Yuri his first kill in a MIG. We have you now. Uh, that's not going to work. Okay, don't black out, Yuri. Okay, let's stop boosting so much. I don't want to blow out my engine. How's fuel? Fuel's still up. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're coming down. Look at all these shoots. Definitely got a couple of Feinkels with all those shoots. Okay, there's the 109. Let's see, he keeps turning, forcing these deflection shots. Which are not going too well. God. I really don't want to waste too much more ammo. Let's find those HE-111s. One of my guns is out of ammo. I think that's our forward firing 12.7. Machine gun. Uh, I think, if I remember correctly, that one only holds like 300 rounds of ammunition. It's something pretty low. Uh, what do we have up here? 109s. Yeah, this is not really a place we want to be. So let's climb up and get back with our comrades. That 109. Is a good shot. Gosh. Looks like he tickled me with his his 12.7 machine gun, but he overshot. All right, we have him. He's flying away. We'll try to get him here. Line him up nicely. Don't know if I hit him there. Getting into this freaking turn fight, which is less than ideal. We'll just spiral climb up. Let's get out of boost. Is something else firing at me? Yep, sure is. Okay, which way's home? I think it's time to go. 109's firing like mad. Gotta get used to armament, come on. Okay, let's get out of here. Time to head east. Yeah, we got a few hits on the wing there. Nothing too bad, though. What's fuel like? Fuel's still okay. Haven't lost enough fuel for it to really impact anything. Or our gauge is just not working. That's uh, very possible as well. Still more shoots. Okay, and now it's time to really figure out where the hell we are. 
along this river. Look for any towns. There's a town up there. And it looks like friendlies are requesting landing. I think we may be, uh, may be done here. Okay, here's a little town. Yeah, we should be able to find our way home from here. I'm not too worried about it. Others are out of ammo. So we hit two one, uh, HE-111s and shot down one 109. Looks like we only got credit for one, but definitely disrupted their bombing run. Call that a mission accomplished. Okay, yeah, they are. we are returning back to base. Perfect. Okay, time to go home. Uh, doesn't look like this fuel leak's going to be much of an issue. We have a few, few uh, holes on our wing that need to be patched up, but nothing too bad. All right, well, we are going to RTB overall. I think that went okay. Definitely, we're a little too low. Uh, I got. I'm gonna have to break some of these I-16 habits. That's for sure. Like trying to turn, because uh, we are not really going to be able to keep up with the 109s like that. Got some pretty good hits on that last one though, uh, and also this uh, these new guns I'm gonna have to get used to as well. Overall, looks good. We're going to head back home. I'll get back to you folks whenever we have actually found our home airfield. Well, it's not very far. There's uh, a flare up ahead. I found it. No more enemy aircraft out and about. Okay, looking good. Begin throttling back. And this is a, another thing that I'm enjoying with this series is learning these aircraft and getting proficient in them. Uh, to be honest, when I started with the I-16, I was no good in it. And that's probably what it's going to be like in the MiG-3. I'm definitely going to uh, start practicing and getting better in this aircraft as it is a, a new platform. I've flown it a little bit in an old series. But uh, it's been a while for sure. Okay, landing lights on. Looks like quite a few of our comrades have made it back home. At least four of us. Those HE-111s really snuck up on us, that's for sure. Normally we have to fly relatively far to encounter them, but this time they were, they were, <laughs> you know, just a few kilometers away, really. And here's our new airfield. Definitely very unique compared to the airfield we've been operating out of previously. Okay, it's time to throttle down though. We're going over 300 kilometers an hour. Definitely uh, don't want to be going that fast when we touch down. And hopefully I don't screw up our first landing in the MiG-3. It's a nice airfield though. Look at that house. What do we have down here? MIGs. Very cool. And from what I can tell, it looks like IL-2s are operating out of the, uh, the grass field we were stationed at earlier. And a lot of the MiGs have moved here. What else? It's like some Peshkas, or a Peshka anyway. Oh, there's a few of them. Yeah, uh, relatively impressive airfield compared to what we've been using. I'll probably land on this runway right here as the other one is kind of busy and taking in other aircraft. There's another MiG here. Looks like a good chunk of us made it home. Still leaking fuel. However, it doesn't seem to be impacting my gauge. 
This be a pretty small leak. What rotten luck there, getting hit in the first pass. Okay, let's drop our gear. Does not take nearly as long as uh, <laughs> the I-16 with our 50 or so hand cranks. And you know what? I'm going to land on our, our strip here. Hopefully no one else is coming in. Okay, let's drop flaps. Okay, drop them. Going kind of fast. Okay, let's hold this. One ninety, that's about right. A touchdown. Oh boy, generating a lot of lift here. There we go. Hit the brakes. All right, uh, it came in a little fast there. I came in at around 210. Oh boy. Okay, and this is something else with the MIG. Once you reach a certain rudder deflection point, our tailwheel is unlocked. So our tailwheel's locked, and then once you you know get a lot of rudder going, it's unlocked. So that is going to take some getting used to. It's a interesting tailwheel mechanism so taxiing oh my gosh is going to be fun <laughs> getting used to that anyway we're gonna we're gonna taxi over to i guess headquarters there that's probably what that building is where they're operating out of and that is mission number one in the mig three uh down and that was a success if i do say so myself i'm i'm happy with it went well Shot down one enemy machine, damaged two other HE-111s, and disrupted their bombing raid. I can already tell this is going to be a fairly fun aircraft to use. That's for sure. Anyway, you all know the drill. I will taxi over, and I will see you all for the debrief. And here we are for the debrief. Mission accomplished. A successful landing. The mission only lasted 18 minutes and 28 seconds. This is going to be a short episode. I do apologize for that. However, we actually managed to shoot down a bomber as well. One of them ended up going down. Wonder which one did, but there we go. Two aircraft shot down. Awesome. So that brings our tally up to 14 kills, I do believe. Overall, I have to say, successful mission for our first time in the MiG-3. I bet Yuri's feeling pretty good about himself now. I don't know if there's going to be any other missions for today. This was the only one on the board. Okay, we got an aircraft kill bonuses, and yeah, more enemy aircraft have been spotted crossing the front lines. That is not surprising. Let's see if we will be going on that. No, we will not. And it looks like we all together, we shot down five aircraft. That is really good. That is very good for uh, for us. I don't think we've shot that many aircraft down as a flight in one sortie in our I-16s. If we have, I don't remember. Um, or I was the main contributing factor. We did lose one pilot, however. He was killed in action. But uh, that's, a, that's a lot of planes. One light, one heavy, shot down by me. One light, shot down by our squadron commander, Grishin, here. And what did Boris get? Two heavies. That's a lot of bombers. So in total, three bombers, two fighters. Very, very good indeed. Really good results. I'm just surprised by that. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's another mission later in the day. Let's proceed and see how they do. Looks like they're intercepting ground attack aircraft. I wonder what those are, like BF-110s or whatnot. But we're going to be doing a lot of intercept missions, especially... Uh, for the next you know month or so until our counteroffensive begins see how did they do shot down three aircraft three heavy aircraft uh second flight of the day so a very good day for this squadron awesome 
Well, that's really all I have for today. I apologize. It's a, a little on the short side, but it's definitely an action-packed episode. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I look forward to flying more in the MiG-3. Anyway, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.